Sergio, how's it Josh Weezy Fokker? And today I got another mid-month haul to share with you guys of books, movies, and soundtrack that I got from the library. It was a library sale that they started on Wednesday and went through Saturday. But as the days go by, it gets cheaper and cheaper. And I got this whole bag of media and books for only $2. So I'm going to have to sort this out, share each item with you, and let me know down in the comments below what your recent pickups you have had or if you ever had a library sale of the likes of this one. So after sorting it all out, I found out I have 12 books, 10 DVDs and Blu-rays, as well as 5 soundtracks on CD. So I was pretty impressed with all I was able to stick into that. And I'm including the books just in general, just because they're similar titles that are related to movies such as Contact, Never Read, or Watched a Movie that Robert Zeta Zemeckis did. So I'm going to get into some of these books, hopefully need to get back into reading. Next up we have Da Vinci Code. Haven't watched that movie either with Tom Hanks. T Jumper is up next, which is about this teleporter. And you'll see a title similar to that later in the DVDs. And we have The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. Haven't even watched that movie, believe it or not. The Firm have not seen this movie either. Or, of course, read any of those books. Speaking of book, I did read The Giver. I read a long time ago. In elementary so hopefully can get back and do that time soon the passage sound really intriguing by um, Justin Cronin about sort of the post apocalyptic and military experiment so if we have red coat a bit of a military type of book the stranger on the road to Emmaus uh, sounds like a really good devotional type of book I will get. We got the girl on the train and read the description. It's very similar to the woman in the window, which was my favorite book that I read last year. So hopefully this lives up to something similar to that, but that's by a different author. And then the final two books, we have No Man's Land, which is another war book. Hopefully you can get started reading into some of those war books soon. And then Dawn's Early Light, which was an early, very early um, book just of uh, found collections of older stories. Next up we'll get into soundtracks. We got um, Paddington 2, the original soundtrack, and then we have Inside, uh, I don't even remember what it's called, how to pronounce it because I have not seen the movie. Inside Lewin du Davis, something like that, I may have butchered it. And I hardly have any music soundtracks at all, so it was nice to find these. We got Hunger Games Catching Fire. I have seen that movie, of course. Don't remember too much about it. Next up, we have Hillsong. Really enjoyed that brand. And then we got some Blu rays. I was surprised to find Blu rays at all. I didn't, I thought there would only be DVDs. But we got Hurricane Heist. Never seen that movie. We got the reboot of Star Trek on Blu ray with the nice slipcover. I do enjoy that one haven't seen so many of the the actual classics of star trek whether the show or the movies next up we have eddie the eagle which is a really good movie and i highly recommend you check it out it's on disney plus if you haven't next up we have under the dome season three i have not seen this show at all and unfortunately it's only season three because this is a stephen king project so I was shocked to find this at all, and hopefully I can navigate the others, and hopefully they're not too expensive on the aftermarket. Next up, we have uh, Every Which Way But Loose with Clint Eastwood. I believe this is directed by... This is by James Fargo, so not Clint Eastwood, but it was a nice film that I'm intrigued to see more of his earlier projects. Next up, we have The Lovers, sounded and seemed like something similar to Ordinary Love, but with a different sort of project. And Ordinary Love is one of my favorites of all time, so hopefully this is at least living up to an enjoyable factor of me liking what they're doing with the realism. Next up, we have Miracle at St. Anna, The Untold Story of Courage and Brotherhood. Really intrigued to see another war film, and of course I'm always... Woken up for what I want to watch from those. Never seen that one. But as I mentioned earlier with the book jumper, 
I did find a DVD jumper, so now I'll be able to read the book and watch the movie whenever I get time for that. And we get a couple more movies left. We got Don't Say a Word with Michael Douglas. I've been seeing the Blu-ray of this in Dollar General quite a bit. I pass out, pass up on it every time. And so now I got at least a DVD. Check it out. See if it's worth the upgrade. Um, Just enjoying Michael Douglas' old filmography. And next up... Finally, we have Six Days and Seven Nights. I forget the director. Oh, yes, yeah, Ivan Reitman, who directed the Ghostbusters film. So, going to be intrigued to dive into that one. And so, that's just all the Blu-rays and DVDs and books and soundtracks that I compiled within this $2 Blu-ray library book sale haul. Let me know down in the comments below what Blu-rays and other books have you been picking up recently? Have you been collecting books that are related to movies and getting into them? Let me know down in the comments below also what suggestions you have for reading or watching first of what I've compiled there. So thank you for watching. Bye for now.